G'day, are celebrities killing the credibility of wellness? There was an interesting article in Adweek recently where they spoke about this idea that celebrity endorsements are affecting the credibility of wellness businesses. And this was on the back of Martha Stewart, who's the lifestyle celebrity in the US, and she was backing and endorsing a cannabis company. And their point was that she can't really talk to the medical credibility of cannabis when in fact she has no medical chops herself, no medical qualifications or training. And it's an interesting point because I think when it comes to wellness, and I think this is what they're trying to suggest, to many people, to the mass market if you like, wellness is a bit fluffy. It's a bit sort of out there and people don't quite know exactly what it is. It's, it's a little intangible. And so once we start throwing celebrity endorsements on it, that might get people across the line, but it's a very different business to endorsing, say, you know, running shoes or clothes because the implications of wellness are much more important. They're much more significant. And I think if you are going to go down the road of wellness, it's definitely worth giving some thought to. And I think the two things you need to think about is, are you going to look at celebrity endorsements? And if you are, what is that implication? Is it really helping your credibility or not? And we've seen this with Gwyneth Paltrow and her goop, which you know, to many people has probably done more damage than, than good, I think, in some ways, because a lot of the stuff that she talks about is kind of woo-woo out there. Um, there's some good stuff in there, but I think most people would accept that a lot of what she talks about, or some of what she talks about at least, is kind of on the edge, on the fringe, and that's not necessarily helping the credibility of wellness. And it's probably another reason why you should go and check out wellnessevidence.com, which is a website that basically has a whole bunch of research on the evidence of some of these wellness protocols and, and treatments and activities. So stuff that is maybe lacking in scientific data still has evidence-based research that we can call on. So go check out wellnessevidence.com and give some thought if you're going down the road of wellness as to whether celebrity endorsements are really going to help you or maybe hurt you. Alrighty, that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in. I will be back again tomorrow. See ya. Bush and